Well, hello everyone. My name is Steven. I live here in the great town of Metallus Frickin', New Mexico. And I'm a weightlifter. I weight lift a lot of weight. And uh, I've lost a lot of weight. I lost at least 75 to 80 pounds or more. And I've doubled my strength since I started exercising. I used to belong to the fitness and more gym here in Portales, New Mexico, and uh, until they revoked me, my membership based on I didn't have good enough clothes on at the time. What they meant was, and they then they told me that I'd had a lot of complaints about me, and I said, well, why didn't the people come to me and tell me that I needed to change a few things? They didn't do it. So, anyway, I'm getting ready to uh, file a complaint against them through the uh, uh, New Mexico Department, and other than what the clothing and the complaints, but they never explain why. In fact, the, the owner wouldn't even continue to speak to me on the phone. He knew I was mentally and physically disabled, and uh, they just did this. And there's nothing I can do, according to what they said. I said, uh, I don't care if they say they can't do it or not. I've been there for three years, and I know I've lost a lot of weight, and I'm feeling better. And I should have the rights, just like anybody else, to file complaints, well, not only with the Business Bureau, but uh, with the uh, with a lot of other departments as well. You know, I'm not going to hurt them, but I think what they're doing to people is wrong. Especially to people with disabilities, people with uh, or senior citizens. I, I know what they're doing. They're, only, they're trying to push away the people that are, uh, quote-unquote, not good enough to exercise. Now, I know what they're doing. They only want the young. I've seen them. They don't want anybody old in there. The senior citizen or all that stuff. This is just based on my opinion. Because these people here have done this in the past. They've done this with other people. The minute you get become disabled or something like that, they don't even want you there. They don't even have proper facilities for the handicapped and the disabled. If I were you, I wouldn't even go there. If I were you and you're watching this, you better watch the kind of people that they're dealing with. Because these people are, no, in my opinion, no good. All they care about is hiring, in my opinion, uh, bimbos who are under the age of 21 who are got tight skirts and look like a bunch of prostitutes and whores because that's what they've hired in the past. I had this one blonde that I knew for a fact that was acting like a bimbo. And she was hi hired as a trainee. How can a person be a trainer? And be and work in the job at the fitness and more if she doesn't have the qualifications as a trainer and that has any knowledge. So I want to ask you people out there, if you're out there work, if you want looking for a place to work out here in Portales, New Mexico, don't work out there because in my opinion they're nothing but a bunch of thieves. And that's all they're ever going to be. They take they tell you that it's going to be uh, thirty dollars a month. Actually, what they're making you pay is a seventy-five dollar entrance fee. Plus the thirty dollars a month if you decide to do it that way, or a grand total of maybe two hundred seventy-five to three hundred dollars a year for services for exercise. You know, I personally, as of today, I've been three years over there. I spent a thousand dollars foolishly. In my opinion: you ought to get yourself some weights, either at the garage sale or wherever you can find them, some used place, and exercise that way. Go work out at the track, like at the. Uh, at the Eastern New Mexico University's track, because that's a half a mile in diameter track. That means that uh, you can go as many times, laps around and everything. I did 20 laps the other day. That's 10 miles. 10 miles on that tra track over there at the Eastern New Mexico University track. I'd suggest if you're going to go anywhere, go there. Don't mess with this company. During the wintertime, you can go down to the exercise clubs, other exercise club at the, uh, for the, uh, I'm trying to think. The, the young 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 kids on the age of 18 who go to school and go to school I'm sure you can get your exercise there I think it's about fifty dollars for the year over there at their gym and I think you'd be better off using their facilities and that's in fact that's what I'm going to do um, as far as running is concerned or walking I know it's going to be a little cold this winter but I'm going to tell you something else you can buy yourself a treadmill and for what it costs to go to this gym at the Fitness and More, you could buy yourself a heck of a good treadmill or a good elliptical machine 
and you and and buy your own weights and you'll have after I've been there for three years I've been there for three years I'm gonna tell you right now if for three years time period you could buy yourself a heck of a good a, a treadmill and a heck of a good elliptical machine and put it in your house and a bunch of weights have your own air conditioner in during the summer in your window and heat it in the winter and you can do your exercise on your own you don't need fitness anymore they need you so I suggest you go somewhere else. If you're wanting to go exercise, don't trust these companies. These companies that claim that they're good qualified trainers. There's no good qualified trainers there. They don't have a degree there. The own business owner, in my opinion, is not a trainer, does not have a degree as a trainer. If he had a degree as a trainer, it'd be one thing, but he's never there half the time. He hires in these employees that are supposed to be trainers. They're not trainers. They don't know the first thing about being a trainer. They're there to get a job, pay minimum wage, maybe work 20 hours a week. So anyway, my suggestion is just not go there. You just need to remember there are these kind of people out there, especially in this town. This is a very cliquish town that was no, wants no part of anybody that's not from here. So I would suggest don't go there. Don't have anything to do with them. This is my opinion on everything I've said. If they don't like what you have to say, let them come soon. Because, but what I'm telling you is the truth. These people are crooks. All right, y'all have a good day in the name of Jesus Christ. Bye.